Hello everybody, welcome back to uh, CK2. I'm Paradox Gamer and we are playing Silesia and soon to be Poland. Where I left off last time I was contemplating attacking Bohemia. And I've been looking a little bit at them and it's looking quite good if you see here. This is the ruler. Check the vassals. He likes to imprison his own vassals a lot. Um, I've been noticing that. And so two of them, this guy here with uh, with the, the southernmost two two southernmost uh, counties down here, and the other guy with uh, actually three counties. That's the guy who um, rebelled before these three. So that's four counties. Uh, I mean five counties total. And um, now. I don't know if it works that way. I'll find out in a, in a minute. But I don't think he can call in these vassals who are imprisoned. And that means he's pretty weak at the moment. He has got only like 1300 men. Uh, if you combine these three, there's about a thousand more. So 23, 2400, something like that. And I think it's it's that low because he was at war. The ci he had the civil war before. So 20, 2400 men total, something like that. He doesn't have any external allies. Um, and if you look at me, I have 2,500 myself, plus I get some uh, some vassals as well. And then I can call in the vassals too. So I think that's going to be a pretty easy war, actually. It's going to be a long one, because Bohemia is pretty big. So there's that. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's what we're going to do. Let me just check here. My spy master is not doing anything at the moment. Let's scheme in Krakow. Jolly good. Let's uh, let's do it. I'm ready. So this guy, I do have a claim on Olomok. The um, yeah, so I can press the claim of that. Let's send it away. And I do have the option to get the uh, tribal army as well, if necessary. I do have 600 prestige. So let's raise up our guys here. And call in... Oh, I cannot call them in. Really, so so uh, if I get that right, when I move to high tribal organization, I can call in a hundred men, and then I can no longer um, I can no longer call them in. Is that it? Hmm, that's a pretty bad trade-off. That's a pretty bad trade-off. Let's see if we can... Um, let's just let one day pass here. Okay, so... Can I catch these guys? Uh, 2nd of February. Yeah, I can. Alright. What about... Uh, can I catch these guys? Oh, I just called them as well here. So, 6th of February. Yeah, I can do that too. And then, what about down here? Can I catch these 80 guys? 12th, 7th. Yeah, easy. They're moving really slowly, I think, because they don't have any morale. That's probably why. So we have all of these up here as well. Let's move them forward. Um, so what's the relative strength? Is there any way to see that? Um, he did raise up a b bit of people in this province though. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, take another speed too just to be sure here and then... Because I'm pretty sure he's got a big army in here, that's his main army, right? 
So if that goes this way or this way, I could I could get into trouble. In fact, I think these these guys should go in here rather. All right. So the first guys arrive on the second. That's my main army here. Here we go. So yeah, I was right. These guys are moving in, and they are moving in tomorrow. So when are these guys? Okay. That's about a week I have to be alone, then I get these guys in. I should have moved them in right away. And these guys are coming as well. 16th of February, I'm going to catch these guys as well. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's okay. It's pretty okay. Right, so... Oh, that was the that was the ten gold, right? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm uh, I'm a bit short on guys here, but I will get these people in five days from now, and then these guys will come in later. Yeah, so it's gonna be a little bumpy ride here. I think these guys with no morale, there's, there's really no sense in putting them into that battle as well. Let's just stay there and take these guys in here. This guy in here as well. Yeah. This is how it's gonna be. Okay, so these guys are gonna get smashed up here. Yeah, so... We have the upper hand now. He's got another 300 coming in on the 17th. And then I have another 300 coming in on the 1st of March. So I will be... They have they would, they would have the upper hand for a couple of weeks, actually. But as long as they hold out, that should be fine, right? Victory in up here. So let's join these guys together and... Wow. That's a lot of defense here. Anyway, let's get them into the battle as fast as possible. They will arrive on the 24th. That's before these guys. That means I'll only be short in five days. And of course I will win this battle as well down here. That was that battle, right? Yep. So let's join in the main battle as well. So everybody's heading in that direction. I need a guardian. Well, who's the guardian of the other ones? I think it's uh, yeah, Pechna, that that girl there, Pechna. Okay, so here, educate child. How good is this guy? He is humble, charitable, wrath. Um, do we have anything? What about this guy here? Humble, temperate, diligent. He's he's a eunuch. That that's okay. Ah, oh, forgive me. I will just spend a minute taking a look at this. She's the one uh, taking care of the other girls. And did she do a good job? Let me just let me just see that. Not really, eh? Let's pick another one. Let's see. They, the computer prefers this guy. Humble, charitable, Roth. Ah, uh, let me just see. That is the, that is that guy. Kind, chaste, honest, content, scholar. What about this guy? I think I'll try that guy. This one. Oh, he's my steward. He's my steward. 
You can upgrade both. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, okay, and he is also employed. Oh, all the good guys are taken, as you say. Ah, this is boring to watch. I know, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, but... Uh, I still think she's got the best stats, but she just haven't done a good job before. She's dishonest, though. Um, it's gotta be someone. Humble, zealous, slothful, holy warrior. Brilliant strategist. Yeah, I've run out of uh, ideas here. Who did they? Who did they pick? Uh, this guy. Okay, let's do that then. Send away. We have a f we have a battle to fight here. Yeah, we just won it. And somebody was captured? Nice. Okay, so he's moving back there. Let's just uh, build one big stack here and let's go and get him. That was a pretty bad trade-off that I cannot um, get my vassals in into the war anymore. I just get a measly 116 men from them. That's not a good trade-off. Yeah, yeah, let him run. What is this? Vassal levies raise too long. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So he is going to... <coughs> Haracek? Somebody's going up there. So let's just split in two. One is going here and one is going here. That was the end of them. Now I need about 900 men up here, so they have to <laughs> they have to stay like that. Hundred and sixteen levies from my vassals. Wow. That's amazing. Let's move the ball to slow and see what we can figure out. Victory. So these guys are going there. I don't think so. No. Let's take them out. Alright, so let's move to Prague, the capital, see how many men we need. Hang on, what is this? Ah, oh, I can still call them to war. Why doesn't me? Why doesn't it give me a bottom up? A bottom up here? What does it? What does that do? That didn't do anything.
somebody died. All right, so proc needs only 500. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach some of these guys. Yeah, that's that's perfect. So let's take these 300 over here. And then we'll have three sieges going at once. I think that's just enough, isn't it? No, it's not. It's just not enough. Okay. <clears throat> Let's threaten this guy. Or is that a good or bad idea? Well, he's a known plotter, right? No, he's not a known plotter. Okay. Oh, we got two imprisoned. I can get money now. How much? Ten? Alright. I ask you forgiveness. You're forgiven. How does that change this? Oh, nothing. So what is this button for? Call all tribal vassals to war. Who will control the call? I don't know. I got 10 ducats. He keeps raising small armies, but uh, that's not a problem. This one is about to fall. Ah, uh, not really. Yeah, soon. There we go. So, this army here. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's get this one over here. This one over here. And then move. These 300 men over here. Only one holding here, one here, one here, one here, two here, two here, one, one, two, and one. Oh, he fled out here. So Prague is about to fall. They are gathering together. Well, Prague has fallen. Moving on. So I'm 90%, so I don't even have to siege everything down. I wonder, do I have to siege this one down? Or can I get it without sieging it? Let's go there anyway. I will do 100% at the next siege. Maybe this one or this one. Then we'll find out. So I was wondering if I should marry my um, my concubine. 
But then I'll have to let her go first. And then marry her? I don't know. I don't know if that's a good or bad idea. Oh, let's see. Now, we're 100% but I haven't sheets down Olonets or whatever it's called. So can I get it? And the chieftain of Olomok. Yes, I can. It's now mine. Great. Let's get these guys back home. And, um... Yeah, let's, um... This is mine now, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put the break in here then. We got what we wanted, and, uh... Yeah. Let's continue with killing this guy and uh, taking more of Bohemia in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and see you next time. Bye-bye.